Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Saturday afternoon, June the 15th. This is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their feature. 2.07 p.m. Eastern Post Time for Race 3. This is the Better Roses Handicap, 7 for a long sprint on the dirt track, okay. Grade 3. Phillies and Mares, 3 years old and up racing for a stakes purse of some $150,000. Contenders number 3, Dance to Bristol. Number 2, Fantasy of Flight. Number 5, Delightful Quality. And number 6, Willet. If you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history who accompany your handicap in the efforts this afternoon, the Better Roses handicap is named after Alfred G. Vanderbilt's champion juvenile filly of 1949 and handicap mare champion in 1952. She was named to Thoroughbred Racing's Hall of Fame in Saratoga in 1976. As a two-year-old, she won seven stakes titles en route to her championship. At the age of three, she defeated Colts in the Lawrence Realization Stakes. During her four-year-old campaign, she talked up she chalked up two stakes victories, finished in the money in five other stake races. She started only three times at age five, but won the Santa Margarita, carrying a whopping 129 pounds. Here in the 57th edition of this graded stakes test, number three, Dance to Bristol, the pace profile leader in this field, sprinting at today's specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt, is hit the board in five straight, winning four with three of those circle trips also qualifying as power run wins. Jockey Xavier Perez has been in her irons on four previous occasions, winning them all back today for ride number five. Number two, Fantasy of Flight, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four starts. Race three summary, number three, Dance to Bristol, tops my contenders list today here at Belmont, which also includes number two, Fantasy of Flight, number five, Delightful Quality, and number six, Willet. 3256 in the third from Belmont Park, the $150,000 grade three Better Roses handicap. Let's go to race eight at Churchill Downs, 9.39 p.m. Eastern Post time. We have an evening card on Saturdays. This is the Stephen Foster Stakes, the big feature. Nine furlongs on the dirt, three-year-olds and up, racing for a grade one stakes prize of a half a million dollars. Contenders number six, successful Dan. Number two, Fort Larned. Number three, Ron the Greek. And number four, Take Charge Indy. Number six, successful Dan, the overall pace profile leader in this grade one stakes event, has hit the board in five straight, winning four, including a trio of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Julian Le Perot has been in his irons on ten previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning seven times en route to a positive 110% return on investment in the process, back today for ride number 11. Number two, Fort Larned, has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five, hitting the board in three, including a pair of power run wins found in his third and fifth races back. Race eight summary, number six, successful Dan, tops the contenders list tonight here at Churchill, which also includes number two, Fort Larned, number three, Ron the Greek, and number four, Chate. Take Charge Indy, that's 6234 in the 8 from Churchill, the $500,000 Grade 1 Stephen Foster Stakes. Bonus Long Shots, Prairie Meadows, Race 6, the ninth two shot, number 7, Country Soul, a Power Pony qualifier, drops in class by 7 Trackmaster units. The overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt. Canterbury Park, race 5, number 10, only Annie Peach, a 9 to 2 shot, drops in class by 15 Trackmaster units. Nice overall speed for this 5 and 1 half furlong sprint. So, handicapping for both Belmont Park and Churchill Downs on a Saturday. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.